Hello people out in YouTube land. Today I'm gonna do something different. It's about DJing. We have here the Hercules P32 DJ, which is intended for DJing, but it's also a kind of hybrid because you see there's a lot of pads there as well. It has a lot of knobs. So I also did support for the script that you can use it for normal mixing uh, applications and as well as you're modifying your devices so even if you're not into DJing stay tuned so what's also nice about this controller is that it has a sound card built in so you don't need to bring an additional sound card and what's also especially nice about that one is that you have a specific headphone out for that and the headphone output has separate audio channels so you can listen to other stuff on your headphones than you do with the normal outputs which is an absolutely must for DJing but also for other applications it's pretty interesting so what you have on a controller is that normal separation for two decks so we have deck one and deck two and I did several modes there are three modes with it so the first mode is for DJing the second one is for all the mixing and the third one is for modifying devices and in the later two modes there are different ways where you can also play the pads do sequencing and these things we come to that later on First, let's start out. There are some buttons here who have the same functionality in all three modes. This is basically here below that area, which is for controlling and navigating and also the central button and these left and right outer buttons. So these have always the same functionality in all modes. And the five buttons up there have also another functionality. There are not only knobs who you can turn, but this is also push buttons. So you can push them as well and do different things with them. So let's start out with the transport section. So if you just play, we have play with uh, shift and play you can toggle the loop feature on and off and if you double click it you go back to the start of your song if you use sync you can turn out the right automation and with shift you do it for the clip right automation q does undo and shift q does redo what you also have is the main button so this turns always the main volume of your whole project up and down and if you combine it with shift you can also do that in a more smoother way the left button is for the tempo and also the display is always showing the tempo so the right display shows the fraction if you have a fractions in your tempo with a BPM and the left part shows the main digits so you notice these are only two digits but BPM normally have three digits and what I did is if you have a BPM above 100 I added this dot so this is actually 132 BPM and if you come above 200 there will be two dots so you can easily see the tempo so if I change it this is 125 and if I go below 100 you will see it's 91 and 89 and the dot disappears appeared and if we go up then again it's 114 and if you want to do the fractions you can combine it with shift this time you need to use a shift button so for that button it's that shift button and for that one it's that shift button so push that shift button and then you can do the fine grain adjustment so let's put that to a zero again here okay and the right button we have here is for changing your play position cursor and again if you combine it with shift you can do it in a fine way so much for the general control we have here and now let's go to the three modes to change the modes you use the shift button here on the right so if i press the shift button you will see there are three buttons lit here and the first one is for djing second one is for the mix mode and the third one is for the device mode you will also see the names here on your screen 
For the DJ mode, uh, since there is no specific support in Bitwig so far for DJing, I needed to replicate all the features you have normally in a DJ application. So you want to have your effects and your headphone controls and these things, and you could really easily replicate that with Bitwig. So with the script, there comes a template specifically for the DJ mode. So if you locate it in your script directory, you will see there is a DJ mode template dot b w project and if you open that you will see something like this um, you see the two decks they are separated by color and both decks have four playback tracks i named it playback and three sampler for effects but you can put in it whatever you like you can put loops in it or complete songs whatever you prefer and these four tracks always go into a group track on both sides which contains all your dj effects so you have your filter you have your eq uh, your dj eq and some more effects you can use and activate you can also exchange those effects that's not a problem with any effect um, that comes with Bitwig and has a mix control because I assigned the, the knobs on the controller to that mix parameter. So the filter and the EQ DJ should not be changed because they are mapped to specific functions but these effects can be exchanged and also changed in the order as long if you have a mix button here. Then it will work fine. So if you want to have other effects you can simply um, exchange it. And this group track goes then also also in the main deck output which is used for for the for the volume and also for the assignment to the uh, left or right cross fading so this goes into the a channel and the other one goes into the b channel so what you can do now with this DJ mode is as follows. You will see here now the clips you have also as well. The one who's currently playback is in red and you will also see the others who are filled, have a content in the clip are in blue. So let's see if I just uh, duplicate them down there. You will see we will have more blue light up. Let's fill much more with them. So you will see how that goes. And if you have more than four, then we need to switch them somehow. And you need to do that to, if you press the shift button, you will see the currently four to four selected ones. And if you change it here, you can also access the, the lower clips you have there. So here you can start and stop your clips. What else can you do? Um, the one who's already named filter uh, also changes the filter. Maybe let's see the effect so you see what's going on. So here you have the filter effect and you can close it and open it. So maybe let's start playback again. So here a change from left to right. Let's go to the left one and I can change the left filter having it too. And if you use the shift button, you can modify the resonance of the filter. So you can also play it in tune. Pretty smooth as well. And the um, same is here for the right one. And if you want to change the resonance here, you need to use that shift button. Then we have the four effects. So let's turn the filter off again. And you can have the, the distortion added to it. You can turn up the flanger. You can add the delay. And you have the reverb you can add it. And you can also switch on and off the effects completely. So turn on the distortion, turn on the, what is it, the delay. No, that was a flanger and so on. I guess you get the idea. And you can also use a shift feature here. This will change the volume of the specific channel. So this is the first playback channel and the second playback channel so if you want to find adjust the volume between the separate channels you can do it with a shift and you can also mute those channels so mute the first one second one and so on let's turn that on again like that okay what else do we have in a dj mode this is basically the the volume of the of the complete left deck 
volume of the right deck. And you can say I, which one you want to have uh, to listen to in your headphones. So currently we have both and you can switch them off. Say I want the left one on the headphones or the right, whatever you want. And you can change the volume of your headphones. So you will also see these are the specific headphone channels here. So here, if I change the headphone volume, it changes this channel. And what I did not mention yet is you need to make sure that here you have uh, selected an output for your headphones. So if you're using the sound card of the Hercules, here you need to create an output for that headphone and assign it like this. And you should also store it then as a template. So let's stop the playback. What you can also do is here is your normal DJ effect. So let's go back to playback. So you have the highs. And lows. So you can have lots of fun with it. And you can also completely deactivate uh, the EQ. So the, the rec button uh, deactivates or activates the left EQ and the slip button activates or deactivates the right EQ. So as I said, here you change for the different modes, but also these modes have sub-modes. These are accessed by these ones, but the DJ mode currently doesn't have some sub-modes. I am tending to do also some, some loop mangling and stuff like this, but that's currently missing in the Bitwig API, but I'm pretty sure this will come up in the future. So much for the DJ mode, just remember that you should use the template and you can have lots of fun DJing with Bitwig. So coming to the second mode, the second mode is the mix mode. You have two different things here. You can mix the eight selected tracks from the current track bank and you can also modify the currently selected track. The eight knobs here are for the eight uh, currently selected tracks. So track one, two, and so on. Here is five, six. And you can change the volume of this track. So I change the volume of track one, two, and here is five, and so on. And if you press the shift button, you can change the panorama of these tracks. And if you want to change the panorama here, on that side, you need to use that shift button to change the panorama here these buttons here are for turning the tracks completely on and off and if you use the shift key you can toggle the listening mode on and off here as well what you can do with the buttons up here so the middle one is again is the main volume so here I change the main volume of my project and these other knobs are here for the currently selected track. So for the eight tracks, you can change basically the volume and the panorama. And for the others, you have more options. So you have eight cents you can change. This is send one, send two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this is the first send here you can change. And if you combine them with the shift functionality, you can also do that much more slower and smoothly. The two load buttons do the following. They add a track. If you go down here, so pressing that one adds an instrument track and pressing that load button adds an audio track. And if you want to change the eight tracks, you press the shift button and then you have one pad is for eight tracks. So we see the first eight and if you press that one, we see the second bank of eight pads and so on. So this is a 
track 17 to 24 and so on. So back to the first one. You also see that here indicated by the colors in Bitwig, which ones you have selected. And in that mode, we have now also the four sub modes. So the first one is for selecting the tracks and uh, turning on mute, solo and the record state. So the first one is for selecting the track. So you see here the second track is currently selected. So here I can select the first track, the fifth track and so on. And the lower one, which is also red, is record mode, which is on. So I can toggle here record mode on and off. And also, this one cannot be recorded, so also enable more than one channel for recording as well. So next one is then the solo, so solo is now enabled for these two tracks, or the same is here for mute. What else do we have here? We have here the volume, this is the volume of the currently selected track. And the crossfader is, by the way, still crossfading, and that one is for panorama of the currently selected track. The second sub mode is for, for drum sequencing. So it's a drum sequencer and for playing the drum. So let's go to a different project. Let's enable it. And here we have a drum kit and you see all the pads who have a, a sound in it. They are lit here in that purple color. For example, if I would delete that one, you would see that one here is going off. And the currently selected one is in that bluish color here. And you can you can, you can play them here. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you can do also clip recording with it. So that button in that mode creates a new clip and also loops it and basically starts recording on it. You need to make sure it's really selected here. Still that problem in Bitwig. And then you can start playing. Yeah, okay, like this. And you see the same now, uh, you you see the, the, the playing keys uh, and you also have a sequencer in there and you get to the sequencer when you press the shift button. So then you see what's happening for the currently selected pad. So we have selected that one. Let's select the drums, that one. So now, and not the drums, the bass drum. So now you see what the bass drum is doing. I can change that here, do a four on the floor pattern. Let's change the rest as well. And if you don't want to make it sound, when you press it, you can press the sync button and then press the pad and then it's only selected, so it's not sounding. And then you can, can modify it. What is it, the snare sound here? Yeah, it's getting more and more weird. What else do we have? That one here selected. Make here something. Make it faster. So that's the drum mode. And here you see how many bars you have. So this is now one bar. And you could also enlarge it to two if you keep that pressed and press the second one. So you have now two bars playing. So second bar is empty. You don't get a sound there. Yeah, and uh, if you press the Q button, you can do multiple things here. So this is for navigation. So if you want to select different sounds here, we have now that one selected. If you go up, you go to the next block here to play that one. And you can go also go in the other direction. And if you have uh, patterns longer than one bar, you can also scroll in, in that one. So currently this is the first bar. And if we want to go to the second one, we press that one. So now we're in the empty one and you can also change uh, that here. And uh, in that part here, you can change the resolution. So this is currently 16th. So you can, can go down and you see that also displayed here in, in, in Bitwig. Now it would be 32s and you could do fourth and you see then that the pattern uh, let's go to that one back. That the pattern gets gets smaller, and these are no, now fourths are directly filling one pad here. That's it about the drum sequence and the drum playing. And what else do we have? We have that mode here as well, which is now for playing the instrument. So let's stop that one and go to the 
to that track. Get rid of that one. Okay, let's have that one. So this is now the playing mode as known from the push controller. Yeah, you can play the scales here and you can change them when you press the shift button. Um, for example, if I click here, I can transpose it an octave up or down. That one changes the bass key. So this is in C, this is now G, D and so on. That one changes the scale. So now we have a minor, Dorian and so on. You can change in here and the upper one changes between chromatic mode and in key mode. So this is in key what we have seen and chromatic also gets you all the notes if you want to have that one. And the last mode is for sending program changes. Pretty simple, but also pretty handy. If you have a synth, for example, let's have a synth one. And if you want to change the presets here, you can have it like this, six, seven, eight, and so on. And you can also change here, if you press the shift button, you can go up. So this is now the 32, the so 64th and so on. So you have a full set of 128 parameters. So if I now click here, we're now at 65 and 66. Let's go back to the first. And on the right side, if you even have banks, you can here also change the banks of your synthesizer. So these are these four sub modes and those four sub modes are also the same if I go to the third mode. So here in the device mode, these four are always are also the same. These eight knobs change the parameters, the first eight parameters of your device and the other, so these two and these six changes the eight macro controls of the currently selected device. That's basically the things you need to know about it. So when you're in device mode, you can press the button and then you will get the, the browser. And with the two buttons here, you can change then uh, the, the, the any text tab and also here uh, the category. And uh, with the middle button, you can change the currently selected clip. So that's it, a quick uh, tour around what you can do with the Hercules controller. Pretty interesting as I think, especially with the implemented sound card. And it's pretty rare to find anything with a sound card on the market in the controller, which is a shame, I think. So this might be also of interesting for people not into DJing. And I guess I forgot quite a bit what you can do. Shift combinations and button combinations are much more in that. So check out the document documentation in the wiki which explains in very detailed mode what is possible and what you can do with all the knobs and buttons. So enjoy using the script, enjoy using Beatswig and create some funky music!